Now, my next guest is taking over from Paula Grady tomorrow night in a brand new series of For the Love of Dogs. Hi, Oscar. Oh, this is the Hello. There you go. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Honestly, this is actually taking me back to when I was a mum. Feeding my baby. He looks absolutely <laughs> drunk. Oh, yeah, I'm here. So if you want to burp him okay. now, so just oh. literally as if... Yeah? <laughs> He just burped! <laughs> so is that enough now, though? He kind of doesn't know when to stop. Oh, he he's just one of them. He loves it. like me. <laughs> well, Alison joins me at best job in the world. Like, I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, honestly. It was like therapy. Right. Going in there and being with those dogs, it was just lovely. But how do you stop yourself? Because remember lovely Paul O'Grady had in his contract? He, kept, he, he wasn't to adopt me. anymore. <laughs> He just kept... How do, you, how do you give a wee thing like that back? I, I have a house of 25 dogs now. You, you will. <laughs> that is unbelievable. It's, so, it's so, so hard. But what I've realised by doing the show is you have to be responsible. Obviously, my life is so busy at the moment. I want to be there for my dog. Yeah. But what I've realised is if I ever do have a dog, when I have a dog, when I'm older... Yeah. I'm having it from Battersea, without a doubt. Why would you go to a breeder? Just go to Battersea. There's so many lovely, beautiful dogs. And you're, that's the thing, isn't it? And supporting. Yeah. That's what's so good about the show. The show is a delight, isn't yeah. it? It's a delight to watch, and it's it's just, but it highlights the work that's been done there. And you know, now more than ever, there's lots of wee dogs that need homes. It's unbelievable how many dogs actually come in there. So many abandoned dogs, and honestly, the team at Battersea oh, are Luke. just wonderful. I mean, I know, they're just gorgeous. I think I've got a natural, like, affinity for dogs. They just absolutely, like, they warm to me. That's... They warm, they really warm to me. And it's always been like that. I've never had a dog growing up. I always wanted one. But I did notice when I was going round to my friends' houses, they always wanted to have a little bit of the Hammond. Well, I don't know what it's about. Dogs are you know a I mean? good judge of character, Al. They are, they, they are. a good judge of character. They know, but... a, they know a good, kind person. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, it's like, well, you're going to be a grandmother. You can give the baby back. It's a little bit like me. I can go and have all the love with the dogs. Yes. And then I get to give them back. And then they go on to, hopefully, go Beautiful on to... Beautiful homes, homes, yeah. Well, I've met so many lovely owners who are, like, taking on the dogs and everything. It's good. And it's, lo it's a lovely... Hopefully, it's all happy endings, but... Yeah, it's a great show. Sometimes, like, some of them lose a limb or an eye. There's, there's always that, and it's amazing how, you know, even with those, you know, disabilities to overcome, the wee dogs do. They just get on with it. Yeah. Uh, there was Nelly. Oh, she was... Gorgeous, cocker spaniel, and she had to lose her eye. Oh, be so... Unfortunately, but she's just thriving. She's yeah. fine. She bumps into things a couple of times, but she's fine. But she's all and right. she's absolutely thriving. I really wanted Nelly, but I want. I couldn't give her the life that she wanted because I'm always out and about. And all. Well, this is the thing. You, you are really I mean? busy. We saw you Saturday. Yes, that was good fun. Oh, the last. That Andy was good there. fun. Saturday night take, but I had such fun. It was you so, did. so good. You left a little bit of you on Ants, I didn't did. You? I don't know what happened. Something overtook me. Yeah. I saw Ants and Dan, and I was just like, oh, I just wanted to kiss him because I felt like they were going away forever. And then they're totally not going away forever. <laughs> but in that moment, I just wanted to give him a kiss. Next Aww. thing I know, I left half of my face on his face. You did. If you were looking closely, <laughs> you can see that. He's, got, <laughs> he's been hammered. He, ha he really has. <laughs> 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 my whole face just came leave, off with Just leave yourself. And, but I, I just was taken in the moment. It was, but it was just like, so lovely. Do you know what it was, Alison? It was proper, old-fashioned, and I mean, that's a compliment, yeah. proper entertainment, for really, for the yeah. whole family. And what have we got now? What's going to replace it? Oh, they'll think of something. Do you think? Oh, they'll think of something. That's think Britain's got talents coming back anyway. Yeah, so, that's very you know, true. That's all They're not going anywhere. anywhere no. They're absolutely not going anywhere. But there were so many people who were crying that night. So many people got upset. So many people come to me on the street and said, I was really in tears. I was oh. really upset. I was really moved. Because that's the one show that brings families together. It does. Do you know and what then mean? there's amazing stories, you know, brilliant stories. Yeah. People get great prizes, people that really deserve it. It's just... It's lovely, isn't it? Listen, tell me, you're doing a thing about a big weekend. Yes. You know, and that is going to be great as well, because that's so going it's... to be that sort of idea. Yeah. Feel good. So I started my career off, in a way, interviewing celebrities. Yeah. And I kind of wanted to go back to that, because it's like what I know best, and mm. I kind of disarm the celebrity. So you do. I, I didn't want to just do it for... I always do these junkets for, like, two minutes. 
like in and out. Yeah. I wanted to spend a bit of time with these people. Do you know what I mean? I want to oh, go okay. live in their house for what? only one night. <laughs> only one night. Stay <laughs> over for the weekend and see what they're really about. Oh, I like that. Do you like it? So That's I've, a good I've already idea. sent a message to Kylie Minogue. Do you reckon she's going to say yes? She will. She'll be all over that. She'll be she? all over that. You, yeah, I so mean, I want to go and see what Kylie's life is like. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and all of these fun. Are you free at all? <laughs> could you? Oh, gosh, could you Would imagine? Would you let me come and stay for the weekend? Absolutely. You Absolutely. Oh, you can come yes. and stay with me anytime. you know oh, that. Of course you, you can. <laughs> and look, For the Love of Dogs starts tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 8 o'clock on ITV1. Don't miss it. It's, it's so just beautiful. A, it's just joyful. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Even when things are not quite... So, as you say, it, it's all going to be OK. It's and there's a lovely okay. nod to our Paul as well. Of course there is. Right at the beginning of the show, you're going to love it. Good, Great. Tra kind on that tradition. Yeah. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Great darling. Great to see you. Really, really good to see you. Right.